quite many fields, like a craftsmanship, or in a martial arts circle, or in the Taoism, in a circle of Taoism, something like uh, past generation to generation. I'm very excited to have Ailey as my disciple. He proved to be a very qualified. So Ailey, what, what's going to happen uh, this weekend? A number of uh, your fellow Shishun will arrive from uh, various parts of the country. And uh, then on Sunday morning, we will have a ceremony to uh, take me in, what's the right word, um, to the Sunfeng Pai. So I will become your Shishun, uh, your younger Shishun actually. I think you're going to call me your little brother. Um, even though I'm several years older, we won't mention how many. And of course, it's a tremendous honor, especially for somebody who's not from China. So I'm quite looking forward to it. It's going to be a special morning, nine past nine in the morning. The right time has come. Now I declare the commencement of Master Gu's disciple taking ceremony. Taoist Master Gu Shining of the 15th generation of the Wudang Song Feng Pai lineage is the founder of the Wudang Taoist Wellness Academy. As one of the few bilingual disseminators of Taoist culture, he has won high recognition from the government with the title of Wudang Wushu Inheritor. After six months staying together, Master Guru agrees to take Ailey, who has cultivated very well, both physically and spiritually, to be a Wudang Sun Feng Pai, 16th generation disciple in this set. found your sincerity, your devotion, and also ability. I'm proud of you and uh, also very happy to take you as Wudang San Feng Pai, uh, 16th disciple. It is with gratitude that I recognize you as my Shufun. Let us cultivate and disseminate Taoism and continue to learn and to teach. Shufu. May you live long and live well. Congratulations. Thank you, Shishong. Shishong, <laughs> The natural unity between my body, heart, mind and spirit had been disrupted for too long and my qi was depleted. My old habits of trying to control that which cannot be controlled are starting to be replaced by new habits of wu wei and the wisdom of being like water. Now, brothers and sisters, let us drink tea. Thank you for your attention. Uh,
啊，我从小我是因为有一个女侠梦。<笑>我到四霄宫，呃，我问他们，你好，呃，太极，呃，功夫可以吗？他们他们说。<笑>听不懂，<笑>你是外国人，嗯、你说什么？见<笑>面、呃，他说我是太极的师傅。我说太极这是一个老人的东西吗？<笑><笑>他说嗯，更更多，不是、嗯、非常高兴。我们这个武当三峰派，我这一块啊。Um, did I feel a connection with Jung San Fung? Well, in a way, yes, I would say so, because I know that my Shufu is Master Gu, who in his turn had a Shufu. And it goes all the way back to the man and possibly the myth, we don't really know, I think, but let's, let's say the man who, who watched the fight between a bird and a snake and based a whole system of movement on how these two natural creatures moved um, and every time we do Tai Chi practice you can see the coiling and the spiraling of the snake and you can see the quick um, attacks forward and the, the withdrawals and so the retreats of the bird and really imagine that he was there one day and he, he gave birth to this wonderful martial art so and now to be Connected to him to be related to almost, uh, yeah, that's quite extraordinary.